Uh, Davos is awash with those challenges already. We've discussed a lot already on the show. But specifically, as far as you can see, sir, what are the biggest uh, headwinds ahead? The biggest headwind is the inflation. Um, we're seeing the geopolitics, what's happening. We're seeing the disruption in supply chain. Of course, Malaysia and China. China is our biggest trading partner. And we've seen the, the effects of the lockdown. Uh, there still continue to be very, uh, very stringent measures against COVID-19 there in China. And that has an impact to, to Malaysia. And finally, I think for Malaysia as well, um, you know, we are um, facing uh, various challenges within the region uh, when we talk about uh, commodity prices, uh, food prices. Um, but Malaysia is also blessed that we are a net exporter uh, of commodities, which will then enable us to, uh, cush to, to cushion some of those impact. Uh, we have uh, increased the subsidies for petrol, increased the subsidies for some of the food, food uh, essentials. So that has helped. So inflation remained quite low for Malaysia. Uh, inflation in Malaysia uh, last month recorded 2.2%. Uh, so that's still uh, good. And our monetary policy continues to be accommodative, right? Uh, we increased rates recently, but nowhere near where it was uh, before COVID. Um, some of the detractors of subsidies say they are one of the greatest evils, actually. And actually, we shouldn't have subsidies. What we should have is that money being used from government coffers to actually reinvigorate the renewable program, to invest in more renewables rather than subsidising hydrocarbons. How do you meet those criticisms, sir? Yeah, well, that's fair, uh, the criticism. But what we need to focus on is to, f to be more targeted uh, in our subsidies. I don't think we can have a subsidy that's meant for all. Yeah. Uh, for, the, for the vulnerable group, I think they still need a, a soft landing. Um, it will take time. Um, so that subsidies that we are planning to continue uh, is ma mainly for those vulnerable groups, uh, especially uh, those who are, you know, who are can't afford uh, to, 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 to pay for the price. It's gone up so much, as you know, in such a short period of time. Yeah, I mean, the volatility in a lot of these commodities, I mean, whether it's palm oil, whether it's rubber, whether it's tin, whether yeah. it's uh, oh, petrochemical yeah. products, yeah. your country knows this full well as well. It's inflating government coffers at the same time as creating des uh, domestic challenges as well. This is a very difficult conundrum for, as you say, a net exporter. Correct, correct. It is, it is, it is very difficult. So net, net, um, it is neutral for us uh, because those, when you look at the commodity prices, Malaysia obviously benefit from it, but it's at a cost where we want to control inflation, we want to continue the economy to continue to grow, and as such we We'll continue our fiscal expansionary policy with those uh, extra revenue that we receive, but more importantly, to also cushion the impact uh, to the vulnerable groups here in Malaysia.